گردے خدا میں رزوی ہو جان عشق مصطفیٰ روز حضور کرے خدا جان عشق مصطفیٰ روز حضور کرے خدا جس کو خود درد کا مزہ ناز دوا اٹھائے کیوں جس کو خود درد کا مزہ ناز دوا اٹھائے کیوں اور وہ جو نہ تھے تو کچھ نہ تھا وہ جو نہ ہوں تو کچھ نہ ہو جان ہے وہ جہان کی جان ہے جو جہان ہے اٹھا دو پردہ اٹھا دو چہرہ کہ نور باری حجاب میں ہے زمانہ تاریخ ہو رہا ہے کہ مہر کب سے نقاب الحمد للہ سما الحمد للہ وی آ بائی دا گریس آف اللہ اینڈ بائی دا سنت آف رسول اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ویپنگ دی فریگرن فروٹس آف دی موسٹ بیسفل اینڈ سیکرٹ گارڈن آف مدینہ المنورہ During this month of Rabi Ulu Sharif, the month of the Maulud and the birth of Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam, the tranquility to our hearts, the coolness of our eyes, the sukoon and the tasalli of every believer, the most beloved of Allah in the entire creation, the leader of all the Anbiya Ikram and not only the leader of the Anbiya but the leader of the Malaika, the radiant and the glowing moon of Makkah al-Mukarramah and the radiant and the bright sun of Madinah of the Manawara and either way the most beloved and the most exalted in Allah's patience, Sayyidina Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. MashaAllah, Milad al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ayat al-Sunnah wa Jamaat 365 days in India. We go to ask, everything is about Milad Sharif. The reality is that everything is about Milad Sharif. Because if the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not come, you wouldn't have got the five times salam. Even that Sadqa is the barakat of the Mila, it's the barakat of the Maulud Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because if Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't come, we would not have got Sadqa. If Nabi didn't come, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we would not have been Muslim. If Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not come, you wouldn't have had your Masajid. All is the Sadqa of Rasulullah Pak, Sahib Al-Ola, Hadrat Ahmad Mustafa, Muhammad Mustafa, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yet some people, I'm saying some, because the vast majority make more of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if nobody made, Allah Naka, if nobody made and one made, then that one is the vast majority. Then that one is the vast majority. Because majority doesn't count in numbers. Majority counts in greatness, in excellence, in fazilat. That is why on the plains of Karbala, the thousands were not the big number, the 72 were the big number. It's about fazilat. Now I discussed this in the past, people ask, those some ask, and the whole year they are silent. They are doing the other nonsense. When Rabi Rawal comes, they try to interfere with the Ahlul Sunnah al Jamaat. Social media, now because that has become a tool, eh? and every other system trying to tell people why you shouldn't make more of Why you shouldn't make more of What a thing! Why you shouldn't make? Why you shouldn't make? They should be saying, Why should you make? Not why you shouldn't be making more of it, no? You should be, why should you? You should be telling people why they should. 
When you celebrate the model of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what wrong do we do? Kaun si kami hai? Kaun si kharabi? What do you do in Milad Nabi? What do people do when they go to Milad Sharif? Tilaamta the Holy Quran. Karte nahi? Yasin Sharif parte, Quran Sharif parte. So when you go for Milad Nabi, what you do? Tilaamta. What else you do in Milad Sharif? Na Sharif. What is na? What is na? They want to know where this Naat came from. I said, you didn't read the Quran. You read Naat, they say, where this Naat come from? I say, you didn't read the Quran. From the Alif of, from the Alif of Alham to the seal of one Nas, in reality the Quran is Naat. Go and look properly. You have to read with love. So when we come for Milad Sharif, we make the love of the Quran. We read Naat Sharif. What other things we do? Make dua. Read Salatu Salam. After that, what do we do? Give people some niyas, some food. Say, where's the story about niyas and giving people food? Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the best amongst you are those who feed people. What does the Nabi say? The best amongst you, the gist of the narration, are those who feed the people. So, we are feeding the people, not just feeding. One is to feed for any other reason. We are feeding in the love of Allah's beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So why will it not please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why is it that it is permissible to make your children's birthday? Why is it permissible to celebrate your anniversary? Nei karoge to bibi ki saab bibi ko jawab dena hoga. That's why I have to do. That to nei ko dega. Why have to celebrate everything else? But when it comes to Maudud Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we want to look for proof against him. Who is the greatest in Allah's creation? Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Every breath should be in the remembrance of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah has given us such a Nabi. Allah has given us that Nabi who is Imam al that Nabi who Adam al Islam says is my Nabi. That Nabi who Musa al Islam says is my Nabi. How fortunate we are. That as if God is one, that is He. His, His, your, our Nabi. How fortunate we are. But they are willing to celebrate everything else. But do not want to celebrate the model of Rasulullah s.a.w. Then but the Sahaba didn't do it. I said this before. I'm repeating it. But this Sahaba didn't do Milad Sharif. Why are you all making Maulu? Show us proof that the Sahaba didn't... Uh, de, show us proof that the Sahaba made Milad. Question asked me. Don't they ask you the question? Show us proof that the Sahaba made Milad. I said show us proof that the Sahaba didn't make Milad. A simple thing. You say show us proof that the Sahaba made Milad. Uh, say show us proof that the Sahaba made Milad. I am saying, show us proof that the Sahaba didn't make Milad. First, you show us proof that the Sahaba didn't make Milad. Say they can't find the proof. That's the problem. When the Sahaba Ikram went and sat in the court of Rasulullah Sallallahu it was Milad. When they saw the Chahra of Rasulullah Sallallahu it was Milad. When they sat in his holy darbar, it was Milad. When they saw his Mubarak face, it was Milad. When they heard his best words, it was Milad. Samajre. Because when the Sahaba went in his court, they make sugar in the court of Allah. Oh Allah, how fortunate we are. We are getting to be the companions of Allah. So what was this? What was this? I said this before. A Sahabi didn't have to prove that he's making Maulad, Milad, because his every second was Milad. His every moment was Milad. Every moment in the life of a Sahabi was a Milad moment. Every moment was a Milad moment. Do you know how much they loved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do you know how much muhabbat they had for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? People want to say, but uh, Nabi is not why, why you want to give? Why you don't do for the other Anbiya Akram? Allahu Akbar. Nabi, this is, we talking about Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is that Nabi. This is that Nabi. See, one is where the woman, when one is where, I'm giving you one example for you to understand. 
One is where a sahabi went to the Nabi. I said, we, re- we mentioned this many times, but I'm saying it now because I want it to be the foundation of something I'm saying. One is where the man went to, the sahabi went to the Nabi, and he said, my daughter is, I'm giving the gist of the narration, my daughter is going to be married, I have no perfume. One is he went, na, and he asked, what did he do? He asked, who he asked? Allah's Nabi. Who he asked? Allah's Nabi. What did he say? I want perfume. Give me some kuzmo, my daughter is getting married, Ya Rasulullah, I don't have anything. What did the Nabi do? What did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam do? He took his Pasina Mubarak. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took his Pasina Mubarak and he gave the Pasina Mubarak. And he said, go and tell your daughter to apply this. She applied it, what happened? Her body became Mu'attar. Not only her body became Mu'attar, her children were born Mu'attar. Her children were born fragrant. Not only her children were born fragrant. Whoever passed the house with the fragrance of the khushbu of the Pasina Mubarak Rasulullah. Now, the point I want to make. He went, ne? he went to the Nabi. And he asked. But yet, this is that darbar, ke bin mange mila aur itna mila. Ke daman mein hamara samaya. This is that court. This I gave you the example of our Nabi. I'm telling you about our Nabi. This is what Milad is. This is what Milad is. Speak about the beloved Nabi is Milad. Every time you say Muhammad, it's Milad. Sallallahu alayhi wa Every time you say with love Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa it's Milad Sharif. So where are you going to stop Milad Sharif? So the Sahabi went to ask. Let me show you where they didn't even ask. And how much they got. Once the stepdaughter of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The daughter of Ummul Mu'min, Hadrat Sayyidatuna Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala. The stepdaughter of Rasulullah Pak Sallam. She was the daughter of Hadrat Umm Salma from her earlier marriage. She was a little girl, stepdaughter. One day, Aka Ibn Alam sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala, visited Rasulullah Pak Sallam alayhi wa sallam. Went to Huzul Zarbar. Um the Zawaj Ibn Taharat. Ummul Mu'minin, Sayyidatun Ummah, Salma radiallahu She went in the, to, the, to visit Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa And with her was this daughter of hers. And at that particular time, Nabi Akram Nur Mujassam sallallahu alayhi wa had just come out after taking a bath. Now you must remember when the Nabi took a bath, okay, human nature, person baths to clean himself. When the Nabi put water on himself, it was to clean the water. But I was going there with that, to bless the water. Okay? Wherever that water went, it made the rest of the water blessed also. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi came out of the bath. He had just had a bath. And this Hadrat Umm Salma radiallahu ta'ala anha came with her daughter. When Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi because she was a little girl, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw her. So out of muhabbat, this was Rasulullah Pak. Rasulullah Pak was very muhabbati. And indeed he's muhabbati because he's rahmatullil alami. And he showed a lot of love to his family. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when Umm Salma radiallahu anh came with a little daughter of hers, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had just come out of the bath. What did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did? Out of pure humor, out of uh, muhabbat, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, still there was water in the just in Athar of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam took some water and he sprinkled it on the little girl's face. What Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did? Now example like if you want to play with your grandchild, or you want to play with your child, what you do? Sometimes you got water, you put water on them. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa came out of the bathroom, of the bath, and there was still water on his jismi atar, he still had water. Umm Salma came with her daughter, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa saw the little girl, so Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa took some water from his jismi atar, and he sprinkled it on the girl's face. The Sahaba Ikram said that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sprinkled it while playing with the inverted commas, while being light-hearted with her. They say Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sprinkled the water on her face. Bin Mange Mila. The Nabi sprinkled the water in her face. She didn't come ask for anything. She was a little girl. Kuch mangne yehi She came with me Salma. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Muhabbat said, Oh, this little child has come. Let me make her happy. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took some drops of water and sprinkled on her face. The Sahaba Ikram said that she became so beautiful. Her beauty became so enhanced. That when she passed away much later in life even, she still had the face of a young girl. Ah. Ah. 
This is Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She at the time of her passing away still had a youthful look. By the water that the Nabi sprinkled in inverted commas while right, playing with her on her mobile, on her face the water from the jismi athar of rasul pak sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam so what is the shan of that nabi subhanallah subhanallah what is the shan of that nabi subhanallah one example another example another example there was once one sahabi very young sahabi of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hazrat mahmud ibn rabi radiyallahu anhu hazrat mahmud ibn rabi radiyallahu anhu he says i was only 5 years old i was only Five years old, when Rasul Akram Nuri Mujassam sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam came and graced our family home. Nabi Kareem, how much nasib they were. And this was the shan of Rasul Ipaq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to go to the homes of the poorest of the poor. This we should learn from Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't want to only sit in Mercedes Benz. Don't only want to sit when somebody comes to pick up BMW. I saw Huzur al-Taj al-Sharia that when people came in a horse and bought also used to sit and used to go. I saw it with my eyes. These are the true representatives of the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Samaj rai? So, this sahabi, Hadrat Mahmud ibn Rabi radiallahu an, he says, I was five years old and the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam graced our, our humble home. And when Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to our home, Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wanted to drink some water. So there was a well in our house. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took the water in the pail. And he drank the water from the pail. And after drinking the water from the pail, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took some of the water from his Mubarak mouth in that, because I was a little boy, eh? I was five years old. So Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be uh, in human, in, in, in inverted commas, playful with me. In other words, to be purely humorous with me, so that I feel for dil joy. Eh, to, 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 to make me happy. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi I drank the water, I was standing there, and Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi took that water and put it in my, on my face. Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi what he did? He took some of that water and he put it onto my face. The Sahaba Ikram Radilan say that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi did that to him when he was five years old. He was amongst the youngest Sahaba, but he was blessed with one of the most powerful memories thereafter. He was blessed with one of the most powerful memories after being so young. Later on, he became regarded amongst the Kibari Sahaba. Amongst the most learned and the senior of the Sahaba. What did he do? Did he go in any madrasa? How many kitabs he went and studied? Yes, take it, parna chai. But how many did he? How did all this happen? The water from the blessed lips of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From the blessed mouth of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now tell me, we do not, should we not celebrate our Nabi's Mawlut? Should we not remember that Nabi? Who oh Allah is blessed with this shan? This is that darbar. Today people want to say, but you people go, you'll, 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 you'll go to the, you'll go in the, anywhere. They have uh, Mu'i Mubarak, Ziyarat Bal Mubarak, the sacred day of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They put it on, in some water, the people take that water and then, what, what's all this? Blind can't see. See, blind can't see. But Alhamdulillah, there are those who may be physically blind and they got Ishqa Rasul. They see better than those. <laughs> eh? There was one very beautiful share. Pasarat ho gayi, lekin basirat to salamat hai. Madine ham ne dekha hai, magar nadida na. What? It is stated in Hadith Mubaraka that the the bandis of Madina Sharif, the handmaids of Madina Sharif, would bring water and come in the darbar of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What they used to bring? Water. And they used to bring water in the darbar of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they used to say to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, please put your Mubarak hand inside this water. Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, please put the, your Mubarak hand inside this water. Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to put his hand in the water. Let me tell you one other thing. Sometimes they brought the water in the extremely cold weather. In the extremely cold weather, and the water would be freezing cold. But the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam The Nabi would still put his hand into that water, no matter how cold it was. Allah Akbar. This is how much feeling Nabi has for his Ummah. And Ummah is saying that don't make mirat, then that is not Ummah in reality. Huh? They used to bring the water, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi used to put his Mubarak hand. They say, Ya Rasulullah Sallam. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi put his Mubarak hand inside the water. After putting his Mubarak hand in the water, Nabi Sallallahu didn't tell them, why are you bringing water and making me put my hand inside? 
Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't tell him that. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam put his hand in the water to prove to the world that Muhammad is not like anybody else. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Anybody else puts his hand in water. You cannot use that water for this. You cannot use that water for that. But when the Nabi puts his hand in the water, then it becomes the most beautiful and the best of waters. Eh? Nabi used to put his hand in the water and the ladies used to what do? What they used to do with that water? They used to take it and go give it to those sick in their families. They used to take it and give it to those who are sick in their family. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to give them shifa. We are the ummah of that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Concerning whom it has been mentioned in the hadith sharif. I'm going to say this very quickly. It has been mentioned in the hadith and mubarakah. That it has come in riwayats. People talk about this khushbu, that khushbu. This uh, beauty, that beauty. This is all the barakat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is all the barakat of milad. This is the barakat of the kadminaz of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the barakat of the miraj of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It has come in the hadith of Mubarakah that the rose was created from the sacred pasina and Mubarak of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And there is one riwayat. There are numerous different narrations. There is one narration, it is reported that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the, light, the white flower, the jasmine, the white flower is from my perspiration. There is one rewrite, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the white flower is from my perspiration, the jasmine. And on the eve of Miraj, the rose is from the perspiration of Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam. It's from the perspiration of Jibreel alayhi salatu wa sallam. And the yellow rose, they call champa. The yellow rose is from the perspiration of the Burak on the night of marriage. Ah, this is whose ummah we are. This is whose ummah we are. There is also another narration that is mentioned in another narration that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that during my return from marriage, one drop of my perspiration fell on the zameen. What? One drop of my Mubarak perspiration fell upon the earth and from it the rose was created. From it the rose bloomed. Whosoever, and the Nabi said, whosoever wishes to smell my fragrance, he should smell a rose. He should smell a rose. Yes, they are different. The Muhammadisin have kalam of different narrations, but the kalam is not on the actual text here. The kalam is on the chain of the narration. But the, the hadith is there in its place. And there's another narration where Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned that when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when a drop of my perspiration fell on the ground, when a drop of my perspiration fell on the ground, in other words, on the chest of the earth, the earth began to chuckle. The earth began to chuckle ecstatically. And the moment it chuckled, it began to blossom roses. One drop. One drop of the Pasinai Mubarak of Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why we say, and that is why Allah Hadrat taught us, ke sabse awla wa ala maran. Sabse fala wa ala Nabi. Our Nabi is the greatest. We are the ummah of that Nabi. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, today people want roses. People want roses. What did Imam Ahle Sunnah say? I'm ending with this share. Beautiful share. Celebrate Mawlu What did everybody today, if, if you want to please somebody, what you go look for? A rose. Isn't it? Yes, because it's a beautiful flower. And yeah, you want to please somebody with a rose. But Allah Hazrat Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Allah Hadrat Ati Mubarakab, this is the love of the beloveds. What does he say? He says, Khush rahe gul se andaleeb, khare haram mujhe nasib. Allah Hadrat says, Khush rahe gul se andaleeb, khare haram mujhe nasib. Meri bala bi dhikr par phool ke khar khai kyu? Allah Hadrat Ati Mubarakab is saying, Let the nightingale remain satisfied with the rose. Let the nightingale remain satisfied with the rose. To attain the thorns of Medina is my aspiration. Let the nightingale remain. What a beautiful word. This is love. That is why Allah is Imam Ishma Mahabbah. Right? Let the nightingale remain satisfied with the rose. To attain the thorns of Medina is my only aspiration. Then he says, woe to me. On hearing the praises of the rose... Why should I feel any jealousy or intimidation? He said, why must I be intimidated when I hear about the rose now? When for me, the khar, the thorns of Medina is the most beautiful thing. And so this is love. This is muhabbat. Learn how to, and this, what I have done today? What have we done now in Juma so long? Miladun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is Milad Sharif. Every time that we stand on this mimbar, it's Milad Sharif. Every time we stand on this mimbar, it's Milad Sharif. So don't say to those, don't worry about those who say, don't make, you make. And the more they say don't make, 
the more you make. You continue making the Milad Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Continue, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rasulullah. Inshallah, the barakat of that will bless you here and in the hereafter as well. Allah keep us with the